Hey, we're outside. Why are we outside? Because it's freaking humid out. The uh, rain, it's been raining all day, but there's a little break in the weather. You can see the uh, blue sky up there. And, uh, but it's supposed to, there's another storm front thing happening probably in an hour or two. So we have, a, it's nice and wet out, very humid. And we're gonna look at this. Now you're probably wondering why is he doing this outside? It's because of the humidity. Basically, when it's very humid, like right now, it's gotta be 90, 95, 100, saturated. Basically, static does not build up at all. It dissipates almost instantly. Um, it's very, it's a very ESD safe environment. Now, mind you, it is nice and uh, uh, calm right now. And I'm going right back inside because I don't want the, the clouds to open up and me and the processor module here to get wet. But I figure, you know what? You guys really want to see the inside of this thing here. See all the weird IBM that's going on. I'm sure Max at the uh, Beautiful Electronics blog uh, would like to see that. Uh, you should go check out his videos, by the way. They're they're pretty amusing. He he does this sort of tear down thing, looks at all the parts. Well, I'm going to do that right now with this. This is the processor module out of the ES9000. You can see I've already uh, taken out some of the screws and I guess the ejectors. But uh, it's nice and uh, zero ESD danger right now. So I'm pretty confident that nothing will happen. Now, mind you, I don't know if the processors of these were bipolar or if they're CMOS or a mix. I don't believe they're ECL simply because these things were not speed demons. Um, I don't know. You know basically, the, the model that followed right after this, the 9672s, uh, was touted as the big CMOS mainframe, the first CMOS mainframe. These may have been, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not taking any chances. I don't want to fry this thing out. Anyway, let's take a look. So, this is a metal shell. And as I suspected, it is indeed magnesium because it even says so. Right there, magnesium. It is incredibly light. Let's put it to the side. Here's the circuit board. Well, the underside of the circuit board. And yeah, we'll flip it around, but looks pretty standard, doesn't it? I don't know how many layers it is. Eight, ten, I don't know. See, we have a uh, few engineering changes. Don't know what they were about. Probably we'll never know. That's all internal documentation. Likewise, chances of me ever getting a schematic of this are <laughs> almost nothing. You know, unless certain people can uh, pull it out of their pants. Um, boy, you know, the documentation for this type of cripes, it's, it's, it's very, very proprietary. Anyway, let's take a look. And once again, I'm always going to be touching this. I'm not taking any chances, but I want all the potentials to be pretty much at uh, at zero. Turn it around here. And here we go. I see some uh, IBMness going on here. Big, big chips. Get a quick look at this. We have crystal oscillators there, focus. And um, well, the one with the heat sink, I imagine, is the main processor. And these are probably support chips. That's my guess. Interesting that there's some space for some other stuff. Upgraded models? I don't know. Likewise, it looks like there's a big uh, empty space there for all sorts of engineering changes. You can stick all sorts of dips and stuff like there. I don't see any traces. Those are probably just vias. Well, maybe I see a few traces. I don't know. And uh, some other stuff here. Basic, basic stuff. Uh, house numbered. An Atmel part there. Uh, but the other things, National, TI, and uh, 
you know, looking kind of house numbered, which is very typical of IBM. Got the massive connector here. Sorry for the glare. And you can see all sorts of, well, what are those? Specifically, I'm talking about these things here. Like here, and here, here. Capacitors or termination resistors? I don't know. It's hard to say. We have a bunch of resistor packs here. Um, and the silk screen on the board is not really marked. Well, yeah, this is, this is very typical of IBM to do that. It, it's kind of on a need-to-know basis. Now, what also is interesting, I see um, some uh, no-pop stuff here. No-populate. That's a circuit board term, manufacturer's term, when you have space in a circuit board for a part, but you don't put it in. You don't populate that particular part of the board. And it looks like here, the, those look like they ought to hold D-shell connectors, don't they? That particular staggered pattern. I wonder what those are for. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe they had something in conjunction with these, uh, these uh, places where things maybe go <laughs> but uh, yeah there we have it that's that's a little odd looking there that's just kind of <laughs> hanging out there it's like a zero ohm resistor doesn't it a little hard to tell I don't actually have my glasses on um, but yeah we've got some uh, interestingness there I wonder what that's about uh, Configuration with the diodes, maybe. But yeah, there we have it. That's what the inside of this thing looks like. So I'm going to button this thing up. It's still very nice out here, but it is also, like I said, still extremely humid. Storms are supposed to come in in like an hour or so. So I'm going to button this thing up, get it put back together. Put it back in the machine, and uh, it'll be all nice and safe and sound there. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this look at this card. And just for fun, what I'm going to do is show you the label. There's the label. I uh, don't know what QH91 means. I don't know, but uh, here we have the, the FRU. That's the first barcode. And the serial number. And then the uh, engineering level, which has to deal with, I think, uh, the different engineering changes and such like that. Okay, then. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, like I said, go check out Max's uh, channel, uh, Beautiful Electronics Blog. I'll, I'll, I'll mention it in the description. And uh, anyway, give a like here. Maybe subscribe. Maybe look at some uh, back videos there. Certainly leave a comment. Uh, I'm getting a little more time so I can play with this thing, this machine a little more. And yeah, I got to get back on the other projects too. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Okay. See you guys later. Bye bye.